Hello and good day. Welcome back to our class. This is Teacher Ronnie Guzman, and our topic for today is permutations and combinations. We will focus on problem solving for grade 10, quarter 3. And after going through this video, you should be able to, number one, differentiate situations that involve permutations and combinations, and number two is solve problems that involve permutations and combinations. Before we solve problems, let's recall first the definition of permutation. Permutation is an arrangement of objects where order is important. On the other hand, combination is a number of possible arrangement in a collection of items where the order of the selection does not matter. Alright, so let's consider this problem number one. So a committee of three is to be chosen from a faculty of 12 math teachers. How many ways of choosing the committee are there? So since the members of the committee has no particular position, so this problem involves combination. So take note that n is equal to 12 and r is equal to 3. So meaning to say there are 12 math teachers and we will take 3 at a time. So that is the value of our r. Okay, using the formula of the combination, so this is n factorial all over n minus r factorial times r factorial. So if we will substitute the values of n and r respectively, so we can have here 12 factorial all over 12 minus 3 factorial times 3 factorial or the simplest term, I can have 12 factorial divided by 9 factorial times 3 factorial. But if I'll expand 12 factorial, I can have 12 times 11 times 10 times 9 factorial divided by 9 factorial times 3 times 2 times 1. Take note that I can factor out okay, 9 factorial and 9 factorial. As well as, I can factor out okay, 12 and 3 times 2. So this will give us only 2. So therefore, I can have 2 times 11 times 10, or this is equal to 220. So therefore, there are 220 possible ways to choose the committee. So let's move on to problem number two. So Ace, Beth, Kate, Dave, Ellie, Frank, and Greg decided to go work walking in a different order. How many ways can they go without repeating an order? Since this problem involves permutations because different orders are counted, out of seven characters, all are taken at a time. So we have n, p, n. So again, so n is equal to seven, such that we can use the seven, p, seven is equal to n factorial. To substitute that one, so we have seven factorial can be expanded as seven times six times five times four times three times two times one. Okay, so we have 5,040. So therefore, we can say that they can go to work walking in different order for 5,040 ways. So let's move on to the problem number three. Seven friends, Helen, Ingrid, James, Ken, Len, Mark, and Nate leave a restaurant. Each person says goodbye to each of the others with a peace bump. How many peace bumps are needed? So if we will analyze the problem, Nate uh, I mean, the first bomb made by Mark and Nate, for example, are the same with the first bomb made by Nate and Mark. Different orders are not counted. So this involves combination. So it takes two person to have the first bomb. So R is equal to 2 and the value of N is equal to 7. Take note that the formula that we can use is the combination. So NCR is equal to N factorial divided by N minus R factorial, R factorial. Then we simply substitute the value of n and r respectively. So I have 7c2 is equal to 7 factorial all over 7 minus 2 factorial 2 factorial. If we will simplify this, we can have 7 factorial all over 5 factorial times 2 factorial. Then if we will expand, I can have here 7 times 6 times 5 factorial 
upon over by factorial times 2 times 1. And remember that I can factor out the factorial by factorial and by factorial. As well as I can factor out 2 and 6. So 6 divided by 2 is equal to 3. And three di uh, 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1. So I have only 7 times 3 which is equal to 21. So therefore, the number of piece box is 21. Okay, let's consider problem number 4. Patrice has 12 modules to answer this week. In how many ways can she pick up first, second, and third module to answer on Monday? So if we will analyze the problem, so we have actually that the problem, the order, first, second, and third are taken into account. So we will consider that. Thus, the problem involves permutations. So take note that our of n is equal to 12 and our r is equal to 3. So we will take okay, 3 modules at a time out of 12. So npr is equal to n factorial all over n minus r factorial. So if we will substitute the value of n and r respectively, so we'll come up with 12 factorial all over 9 factorial. So, to expand 12 factorial all over 9 factorial, I can have 12 times 11 times 10 times 9 factorial all over okay, 9 factorial. And take note that I can actually factor out 9 factorial and 9 factorial. So, I have only 12 times 11 times 10. So, I have 1,350. So therefore, there are 1,320 different ways to do it. So let's move on to problem number 5. Six points are in the plane such that there are no three are collinear. How many lines can be formed through these points? So let's consider the illustration on the right side. So take note that a line, for example, NJ is the same with the line name JN. Thus, this is a combination problem. So, two points determine a line. Okay, so R is equal to 2. So, we can use the formula NCR is equal to N factorial all over N minus R factorial times R factorial. Then, we can substitute the value of our N is equal to 6. Okay, because there are 6 points in all and we will use 2 points at a time. So, we have 6 factorial all over 6 minus 2 factorial times 2 factorial. So, we have here 6 factorial all over 4 factorial times 2 factorial. So, if we will expand a little bit, so we have 6 times 5 times 4 factorial all over. Okay, 4 factorial times 2 times 1. So, if we will, okay, guys, simplify this. So, 4 factorial and 4 factorial can be factored out. As well as 6 and 2. 6 is divisible by 2, so we have 3. And 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1. So, if we will simplify this, this is equal to 3 times 5, which is equal to 15. So, therefore, 15 lines can be formed. So, that ends our lesson, specifically on problem solving, on permutations and combinations. So, again, this is Teacher Oni de Guzman. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel so that you will be Okay, notified about my new videos. Thank you.